David, my friend, we are right now inside the new 2023 GMC Sierra 1584X AEV edition. The <laughs> most capable from the factory off-road half-ton truck the GMC has made. That's a mouthful. What color is this? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's the volcanic red. Oh, I love it. You know, but I'm not a red fan, but I love this color. It's actually in the sun, especially, it just pops. Yeah. But how about this? In this video, there's so much going on underneath this truck. Mm -hmm. How about we put it in the air and, and, and learn about it? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I'd love to see the underbelly of this okay. truck. Okay, well, can you actually guide me onto this lift? Can you jump uh, out? Well, I actually got my massage going in my back here. Do you oh, mind getting what? out? <laughs> this is cool. This is a luxurious pretty truck. Nice, pretty nice feature. Okay, you've got massage. All right, I'll, I'll guide you back. All right. And of course we have cameras galore, but still it helps to have a friend. Okay, now straighten it out. Probably gonna have to watch your mirrors. Yep. Straighten it out. Perfect. Keep coming. Watch your mirrors. Oh. I can power fold my mirrors. Go that way a bit. Take it back out a little bit. We got to get over about two inches. Where? My side. All right. Okie dokie. Woo! A little more. Okay, right there. Beautiful. Sweet, we barely fit. Well, this is a full-size truck. Yeah. It should go up. We're a little bit this side, but Let's take these off. Oh, I see. You want to do it again? Uh, well, uh, do you think it will... It should go up in the yeah, air. Yeah, it should go up. I mean, we're on enough to go up. Well, this is kind of a wide truck. It's not a Raptor, but it's pretty wide. It's got a wide stance with those big tires. What size tires are those? So it's a 33.2 diameter, 10.8 width. So yeah. they're not that humongous uh, tires, uh, but still kind of beefy. Should I do it again? It'll probably take it up. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go just, up. Let's just go up. Yes. Yep. Of course, this let's is our challenger you. lift. Let me take this off, help you. So, David, so we're one of the first to have this truck actually in our hands. Oh, really? Because it, um, the news of this truck came out several months ago. Okay, so what's new about this truck? The facade's the same. This. This. The, the, the protection, the, okay. the bumpers and the skid plates. It's this. Right AEV, here. yeah. AEV. It's really about AEV. A AEV stands for American Expedition Vehicles. This company, um, you know, there used to be in the Northwest. Uh -huh. Now they moved to Michigan. It's, uh, let's lift it up. I'm really excited. Okay. So they manufacture the bumper, the, the rear skid, bumper? Skid plates. And the skid plates. Yes. And this has much more with it. Um, camera guy, come over. Because we also have a special trim inside on the seats. Very luxurious interior, really cool. This truck weighs about 6,000 pounds, maybe a little bit more than 6,000 pounds okay. because it's got a lot of that protection, a skid plate package on it. How much weight does it add? That's a great question. I think it adds at least a couple hundred pounds. Yeah, because the skid plates out of a special material that's not that heavy. Boron steel. Boron steel. Yeah. Now, and what about the, bu the bumpers? Just common steel, right? Uh, Are they anything yeah. special? I don't know about the total. The lights are on. What do you think about the light? I think the lights are. Hold on a second, David. Okay. I'm gonna reach up and try to turn the light off, which is pretty easy. 
bam. Okay, again, let's go. I'm pretty excited. I, I wanna show you one, once it's lifted why I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, I've already noticed a few, a few things as we're taking it up yes. that the standard truck doesn't have. For example, you know, that's a um, rock slider protection as well. And those are by AAV as well? Well, actually, no, that's a GM part. That's a GM product. Yeah, that's a GM part. Oh, that's great. You okay, good? maybe how much higher should we go? Depends on how much you have to duck. You're three well, inches, four inches taller than I am. Is it, is it now, is it safety? Uh, the camera guy wants to go a little lower. Okay. No, no, no. You, gotta click, you gotta go down so it clicks. Yeah. There you go. There, now it's now okay. with the safety latch is on, right? It's all about safety around okay. here. Okay. Exactly. Well, I don't want the 6,000 pound truck falling on no. my head. It's too, it's too short for you now, but. Okay. So first, David, let's start in the, in the front. Okay. Um, so the 84X truck came out in 2022. Yeah. And he had a standard bumper, which went about down here. Yeah. And it was body color, yeah. right? Yeah. It looks okay, but it really didn't have that cut, you know, because you need that cut approach. Well, we've got a truck, a Chevy truck or two stuck out in Tumbleweed. With, with the those, chin. Yeah, with those the chin chins. On it, we right? ripped the chin off of one. <laughs> So this is <laughs> the this trail should, boss. This should alleviate this, pro this problem. Yeah, I can see that. And by the way, we're going to have two videos. So on altfl.com, you can check it out. We're also going to drive it off road here at the ranch. Oh, awesome. But this is about the t tech of it. So it's a couple inches higher. So and, yeah. it's, and it's steel. So now you have 32 degrees of approach, yeah. which is actually a good approach. Yeah. And then, and then, of course, the AV style of the bumper. And then the protection starts like right away. So this is. Yeah. This is this boron steel. So you might be wondering, is this just a uh, marketing term? Like what is going on here? Yeah, right? boron, I thought it was like a chemical or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like an alloy of steel. It has to be hot stamped. So in, in, in these presses, you know, the, I don't know exactly what the temperatures are, but it's pretty complicated. Like molten. Yeah, well, almost. And then, so it gets pressed and it gets cooled and it takes its shape and it almost has memory. Cool. Right, so if you try to dent it, it will try to pop back out. That's kind of like spring steel. Yes. So, so, then so all of this is, is using is that metal. The same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, they went somewhere, they went the extra mile, so to speak, and they put a lot of different openings. Yeah, the dimples. And yes. The back here, that there. And I cut was, down on weight and yeah. allow airflow. I'm and also, it. you know, if you're in mud or water, so the water can start to drain yeah. out of it. And you, know? you can wash it out easier. Yeah, yeah. so that. that's, pre that's pretty cool. Yeah. So why, why is this space uncovered? I mean, we've got the tranny uh, pan and then the oil pan slightly well, let's exposed. Go, let's but... go under here. Yeah, so why? That's a good question. Um, I, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that's but, why I'm, I'm just but, asking the questions. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but you see this huge anti sway bar. Uh huh. That would be I, protection. I, I think it's part of it because it has to move a little bit. Uh huh. Well, it doesn't move in this area though. Yeah. It only moves up there. So well, I don't, it, I don't know. But it would also protect you if you landed on a rock right here. All right. So look, look at the rust. Look at the half shafts. Yeah. There's a little bit of rust there. Um, you can kind of see it here. Do we have enough light? Yeah, we have. Okay, we yeah. have enough light. Okay. So you should talk about the rust because people have talked about it on Ford. So you should talk about what Ford has said. About yeah. The rust. So, so remember, I had a 2021 F-150 yep. uh, truck yep. that I purchased, and the rear axle, the surface I, rust. I remember that. Um, the hangers, the exhaust hangers were rusty hmm. when it came off the dealership, hmm. and looks like there's a little bit of rust here on the, at least on the half shafts. Um, Ford told us, because I asked about it, Ford told me it's cosmetic only, there's no warranty issue yeah. or strength issues. That makes sense. But it's, it's still a new truck. Co cosmetically, it's not pretty. Yeah, it's a new truck. I want my yeah. truck to be cosmetically great, perfect, yeah. brand new. Well, I mean, you can see the heavy wax that Chevy puts on. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's covering everything but the skid plates, <laughs> nearly. Yeah, well, you could see here, I think it was on the lift somewhere. Well, that's probably in the see. manufacturing, what it, what it rests on when it's... Yeah, and they still coat their frames, right? Yeah. So this is kind of a coating. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a sticky kind of waxy yeah. stuff, which, yeah. which is great. I mean, it's, uh, you got to protect it somehow. 
So we got to talk about the shocks first. Yeah, uh, th since, these, since we're here. These come standard on 84X. On the GMC 84X. Yeah, so in the hierarchy of GMC, there's many different levels, right, in the four-wheel drive hierarchy. First of all, there's the pro base truck, then the 84 truck uh -huh. with Rancho shocks, and then the 84X gets these DSSV spool valve. Reservoir. Uh, Multimatic shocks. Yeah. And spool valves is basically a spring-loaded valve um, that can be tuned very precisely. So it's not, you know, normal shocks have um, uh, sh shims, like mm -hmm. a stack of yeah. washers, basically. You manually adjust it. And you can remove washers or add washers, uh -huh. and, but this uses this kind of a spring-loaded valve. Are these electronically adjusted? Uh, no. No. So they're set once, okay. and you can't adjust okay. them for softness. But dude, this truck is really comfy. It rides. Yeah, it you rides put some nice. miles on it. It rides pretty nice. Yeah, it rides I nice. Imagine. Yeah. I mean, shocks can make all the difference in a ride. Yes. I mean, that's one thing we overlook a lot, is is the quality of the shock, mm -hmm. and it can make all the difference. Yeah. No matter what the brand is, yeah. right? The fancier the shock. I mean, they cost a lot more. Yeah, they do. But I think you're getting your money's yeah, worth. Yeah, you do. So should we keep going? A okay. Little bit? So we've got two skid plates up there. Did you we've count or two already? Three. The big one that's, that's covering the transfer case and the transmission. Yep, it's right here. Uh-huh, and then a big one covering the fuel tank back here. And I'm really happy about this because the fuel tank is normally kind of exposed. Yeah, yeah, and then I noticed this. I mean, this is pretty <laughs> cool. We're, we're covering our U-joint our and our diff. Yeah. All in one here with the same boron steel. Yeah, and only I've seen only GM do this. Have you, I haven't seen any other manufacturer actually add a skid plate to the differential itself. Yeah, I like that. I like, I mean, this, this right here is really vulnerable, uh, you know, when you're off-roading. Yeah, especially if a rock the, comes the diff, this The way. diff can handle it a lot of times, yeah. but it, it, you know, your U-joint and your drive shaft, which, you know, your drive shaft's not protected, but aluminum. But I wonder, you know, can this get caught on something? Well, I mean, could. in theory, it could. It could. Yeah. But you just back down and yeah. keep going. It looks like you could fit a bigger tire too. Andre. Well, that's a big question. Yeah, that's a big enough. question that I have. I think you could get a 35 in here. Because this is a 33.2. Yeah, because you've got an inch basically all the way around, so I think a 35 would fit. Yeah. Um, and also, um, we have to talk about shocks, shock mounts. Well, before you tell me about the shock back here, yes. check out these springs. I have never seen this. Of course, I haven't been under a new GM product. They're almost in a W. Yeah, because they have, they have a high point here, and oh. then they kind of come down. Yeah, their arc, it's not your standard arc. It goes in a W pattern. Have you seen uh, that before? No, I have not. And this is, there's no weight in this truck. This truck is sitting as it would normally. But, you know, some people in the aftermarket, when the Colorado ZR2 came out initially, uh -huh. they would add skid plates on the shock mounts. Yep. Because yep. look, this is like three inches yep. or four inches what would you say? Yeah, um, good, good four inches. It's hanging down. Yep. And it's, well, al it's, it's almost at the same hi uh, height as the... And, as and the I know pitch. why they do that, because to get the shock travel, if you're going to have a lot of travel back here, you have to have a taller shock unless you want to go up into the bed, which you can't. Mm -hmm. So the only place you can go is down. So, so you're either going to sacrifice shock travel or you're going to sacrifice ride. Well, you know what Ram and Ford have done on their premium <laughs> off-road trucks? Right now, the Raptor R and the Raptor have um, coil sprung rear axles. Yeah. And so the coil would be here. Yep. And then they move the shock outboard. Out. Yep. And they mount it close to the tire. In the wheel well. Basically. Yeah. Very close to the so wheel well. So the shock well. can go taller and not be into the bed. But space. then it's kind of protected by the wheel. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It is and nice. The disc is set back inside the wheel as well. You see how far that is? Yeah. So your disc is completely protected as well. Your brakes, yeah. Yeah. Are the rock reels connected to the frame or to the body? Yeah, let's take a look at this. So these uh, rock rails, look, they're attached to the body, body section. Body, yeah. It. I'm not sure they'd give you a whole lot, maybe a little bit, but it'd be in jeopardy of crushing the body panel a little but, bit. But there are four connectors. One, two, three, four. That's uh, a GMC the, product. That's yeah, not, this that's is not a, AV. Yeah, this is a GM yeah. uh, accessory. Yeah. Because uh, you can get this on other GMC Sierras. Can you? Okay. Not just 84Xs. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think, don't, 
maybe you can correct me out there um, in the video comments, but I think GM says you can put the entire weight of the truck on this. And when I was in California at the original launch event yeah. of the AT4X, um, I, I put the truck oh, on it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Because the, so the body frame or the body. Per, well, this must be stiff enough. It's stiff enough, yeah. Um, to to, to kind of yeah. support that. Yeah, I, I can yeah. see it. It looks beefier than what the older version. But still, that's know. kind of a question, right? Yeah. That's Does AEV make one that mounts to the frame? I'm, I'm not aware of one. Okay. Yeah. I'm not aware of one. Huh. So, um, so we talked about, oh, we have to talk about some other uh, things. We talked about tires. Um, two lockers, one in the uh -huh. rear. Very nice. Uh, one in the front. Now, is that similar to the ZR2, same locker? Yes. Okay. So the Silverado ZR2 is also there, and there'll be a Bison version, which okay. is the AEV version uh -huh. of the ZR2 that's also coming. You know what this dip is? Ratio? Uh, Three. 320 something. Oh, wow. Three, it's a little bit more efficiency minded okay. rather than really, uh, because it's got a 10 speed automatic. Can we talk about what the pay, payload is on this truck? It's not a G80 because it's a locker with yeah. a button. If you got a locker, you don't need a G80. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I know you love G80s because they're simple, simpler and more affordable, right? Well, I mean, it came with my truck, so it's... We don't need yeah. no stinking G80s. <laughs> Uh, we, we have lo uh, actuated lockers. All right, so with these fancy shocks, yes. I want to know what the payload is on this truck. Oh, okay, well, I don't know. Maybe um, Roman is a cameraman. He can um, look in the, in the door. I have a feeling this is going to be a little embarrassing. Oh, you want me to come down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's come down just a little bit. I think, yeah, you have to release the, release the lock. But I'm mostly, I'm mostly just so happy about the approach. That's really a big deal. Yeah, he's releasing the lock. Is it good? Yep. We're nice. Going. A little more, a little more. Okay, I got it. Okay. Do you want to do the lock again? We're locked and loaded. Okay, so check this out. Uh, the payload sticker is in here. Can you see it? It's sideways. It's right there. This is one of the issues. What is it? 1006. That's payload? Yeah. Yikes. It's yeah. not good. No. So, so <laughs> the, the Raptor R, we have a Raptor R as well. Uh huh. What's, um, a, what's a Raptor? 1400 pounds on our Raptor R. Wow. But because of all the additional equipment, including um, the sunroof, this one has the sunroof. Um, and gross vehicle weight rating, yeah, Roman, if you can get a little bit closer. I have to get my glasses on to see this. Uh, 7,100 pounds right here. That's the gross vehicle weight rating. So if you take that number, 7,100 minus 1,000, this truck weighs approximately 6,100 yeah, pounds. Sense. Sure. And it will tow upwards of 8,700 pounds. Okay. But I'm learning that each truck, this is not for this VIN. I'm, oh. learning, I'm learning more about these stickers. Uh -huh. So you have to um, actually go to the app and figure out exactly what the towing numbers are. So, so they be... don't have one specifically for this vehicle with all the options, is what you're saying? The payload is for the options, but the towing okay. is not. These two aren't. Right. Okay. The towing, the yeah. towing number. So this, this truck was assembled in Mexico. Yeah, it was. So, so a lot of these parts are made in the U.S. What's made in the U.S.? 33% of this truck. The engine is made in the U.S., the transmission, the 10-speed. This is a 6.2 liter, by the way. Oh, sweet. So 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet yep. of torque. Yep. You know, I think there was a slight missed opportunity here on GMC. What, what, what are you talking um, about? Well, they also have a performance intake system and a performance exhaust system uh, to make it really throaty, and it adds horsepower, and this is not on this truck. So this one just doesn't sound as cool as... Well, it could have more power. Oh, okay. Because this is a premium truck. Oh, okay. So You're probably wondering how much it costs. Well, I was afraid to ask, actually. Well, you know what? Uh, we have a second video where you and I are going to take it off-road. Okay. So we're not going to unveil the price here, um, but we will unveil the price in the next video. So check out OldTFL.com for everything automotive in one place, and we'll see it. Cool.